Hello and welcome. I'm going to show you how I configure the Force Atlas 2 layout to make a nice picture. So the first thing we're going to do is open up a Gephi file. I'm going to run two statistics here that will help me with my visualization. I'm just going to calculate the average weighted degree and then the modularity. And then I'm going to color the nodes using the modularity class. I'm going to show you how to generate your own palette of colors in case you have 10 or 15 communities you'll need to generate your own palette like this and click apply. At this point I'm also going to size my nodes by weighted degree uh, and let's start at 10 and say go up to 40. Let's see how that looks. All right, That's pretty good. And now I'm going to choose my layout as Force Atlas 2 and then here are the parameters that I use. I'm going to approximate the repulsion. I'm going to change scaling to 100, turn on stronger gravity, but then turn down the gravity constant to 0.01. This is going to give us a more spread out layout. Let's dissuade hubs, turn on lin log mode, and prevent overlap. And let's run it. And then we have to hit stop and we get a layout that looks like this. And now we see that our node sizes are pretty small, so let's up these to go from 100 to 400. All right, that looks pretty good. But you'll notice here in the layout that all the communities have been jumbled together, and so I'm going to show you how I take care of that. We're going to go to Filters. I'm going to filter on Attribute, Partition, Modularity Class. And I'm going to turn on the modularity classes one at a time and then just run the Force Atlas layout on each of them. I'll go up here to the dragging tool so that I can grab the whole thing. And I'm going to arrange the communities in a circle. Alright, so now I have a better initial layout, and so now I'm going to run the Force Atlas 2 algorithm again. Stop it. Uh, and let's go over to the preview now. Let's refresh it. So that's looking pretty good in terms of the colors. So there are a couple people here who are out of place, so I would probably do a little bit more work. Next I'm going to quickly go to the data laboratory because I know that my labels here are just numbers. I want to change that and we can copy data from one column to another. I think those will be better. Let's show those labels along with the nodes. So that's pretty good. They're a little too big. Maybe I'll change the text size down to 8. Uh, I'm going to increase the thickness of the edges being shown here up to 3. And let's refresh. And I would probably keep on going and try to make my communities a little more coherent and then lay it out again. Uh, but you get the idea. So have fun with your layouts.